Hi, Scorpios. So this is for anyone um, that's a single Scorpio sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And then also if you're wondering about a Scorpio, um, like what's their love life going to be like because you're interested in them or maybe they're your ex and you're like, ugh, that'd be horrible if they moved on before me because you're jealous AF. It's anything like that. So Scorpios are intended here. Okay. So first thing, Scorpios, July 2017. How do you see yourself this month? And okay, well, you're single <laughs> and you might not have had a lot of choice about that. Whether you were the one who um, was dumped or you just don't seem to like be attracting many new prospects or, um, you know, maybe your partner was a total shit bag and so you moved on from them. But for whatever reason, there just might not be um, a lot of choice here or maybe you're meeting people but you're just not like having that chemistry like that kind of like sexual desire like oh great guy I just don't want to bone him um but it, what it's saying is is that things will start to pick up speed um should you start to think about the things that you want like making affirmations for those using the law of attraction and I know it's so annoying that law of attraction comes up in all of these readings not all of them, but many of them, but it's actually really important with this card because this is a card of forward movement towards your happiness, towards all of these stars, which are like your wishes, all the things you desire. And if you look, he's going to drive this, right? He's going to push himself forward, but he has no reins, okay? There is nothing to kind of steer where he's, where these little guys are going to take him. So the only way that he can do that is by telepathy, by thought. Okay, he needs to like will this forward. And so that's kind of your task. And so you see yourself moving towards the things that you want, even though right now it kind of seems like circumstances are out of your control, like there's not a lot of option or, or something like that, you know, not a lot of um, actual physical choice except for to make the mental choice as to what it is that you want to attract. Now, how are others seeing you this month? They're seeing you as like having your ish together, like the kind of partner, um, that you would want to be with long term. So in a sense, this is kind of a good thing then if you're looking for something long term, somebody you're going to grow old with, um, that people are seeing you this way and that you don't have a lot of choices because then only the people who are like interested in this kind of a life are the ones that you're trying to draw in. Now, if you are not ready for that, if you are not looking for a soulmate, you're just looking for like a, a love them and leave them kind of a deal, well, is maybe not such a good thing that you don't have so many options. But if you're waiting for the real thing, I mean, this, you know, you're only going to be attracting the right ones. Because um, other people are maybe seeing you like as uh, someone that would be difficult to get involved in, to like take steps with, but that's because they have to resolve their own ish, okay? Um, because they're like, okay, wait. This Scorpio that I have my eye on, they're kind of intense. Scorpios are known for their intensity. Like, where do I need to be emotionally? <laughs> like, I need to be ready for this relationship before I go, like, trying to get with them, you know? That kind of a thing. So, what do you need to avoid this month when you're looking for love? Um, thinking about the past, OMFG, yes. I am a Scorpio moon sign. My emotions are totally controlled by the Scorpio side of me. And lesson after lesson has taught me that this is super true. Exes keep popping up and like you want to feel compassion for them because you're a feeler, you're a water sign, but then you're like, why, why was I even kind? You know, leave that shit in the past. Um, and it's like this month you're strong enough to do it. In July you can do it. And, um, you have tact, you have strength, like they might be, maybe they're a fire sign, maybe they're a Leo, you know, um, but you can shut that line down. <laughs> Think about this. If you are involved with a water sign, like if you have been and then they keep popping up and trying to like allure you back in, water puts out fire, Okay. You can be strong enough, even if you don't think so. It's like you don't have to make decisions. Like the decisions are already made, whether you've said them or not. Um, like think about what's really important to you and do they possess those qualities. Okay, what do you need to do to grow or attract um, love in a greater capacity this month? There's like, well, new ideas, nothing really different than what you're doing. Um, but maybe 
So there's a confidence issue here, and I'm getting that it's a split. Some of you are maybe not confident enough in that you're not um, you know, able to draw in somebody that would match you on a vibrational level, but then others of you are maybe overconfident, right? Like, it's not to say that you're being a dick and, um, you know, you're like, oh, I'm too good for you and things like that, like you're being an uppity snob. It's nothing like that um, because you should have the things that you want. But for some reason, um, like there might be just a tad bit of arrogance associated with with this here. And it's not to say that you're arrogant, but maybe people are perceiving it that way. And that's not necessarily usually a Scorpio quality, but for some reason, something's going on that is giving, those, giving people that impression. And um, it has something to do, it has something to do, um, okay, so two things. If you are one of these people who are like considering something with like an ex that's coming back, this is very possible in July, um, it's like things haven't changed, there's still going to be bickering, quarreling, arguing, um, and it's kind of about like things pertaining to stability, how you're going to live your life, where you're going to live, you know, that kind of thing. And um, they feel like you're being selfish and like that that's not changing. So maybe that's where some of that um, kind of energy is coming from. Um, and they're like, like, don't don't worry about what they think. Don't worry about their suspicion or their fears because those are there for them to own. But then for you, for the rest of you, that's not the issue. Why are you maybe coming off that way? Um, this is interesting. So it's saying you're, the rest of you then are not necessarily coming off as like arrogant or bullheaded, things like that. Um, it's more like their your fears and hesitation in um, wanting to move forward in relationships are kind of like worn on your sleeve right like you go within you think about what you want what you don't want and so therefore you try to take things slow or maybe you're trying to take them so slow that you're not moving <laughs> but it's because of fear of getting hurt of like being prepared for that strategizing but here's the thing no matter how much you try to control, whether someone is going to hurt you or treat you lovingly or not, you're never going to be able to control it, okay? So it's like basically you have to make a decision whether you want to try to show them love or not, whether you want to try in the relationship. And a lot of you are kind of just like, no. Like with people you meet, you're like, eh, all right? Mm, I don't think so. But, you know, if, if it's just because you're scared, because you're... We'll use your best judgment, like, if everybody that knows this person says they're a horrible person, or, you know, like, they've had six divorces already, I mean, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a bad choice, but, um, but yeah, if it's like, oh, well, I'll, you know what I mean, I don't need to explain it further, okay, what, oh, <laughs> some of you just don't want to put work into getting to know other people in case they are a douche, I agree. I agree. If they don't seem awesome initially, like, ugh. but here's the thing. Sometimes the people that seem awesome, like really awesome right away are narcissists. And so we want to avoid that, especially as a deep feeling Scorpio. Okay. So, um, what's working for me in the month of August? Okay, cool. You don't have to do anything. Make your wishes. Make your hopes, your dreams, your desires, the things that you want. Write down a list of all of the qualities that you would want a future partner to possess, okay? And then you'll be able to find that. And not only will your wishes be granted, but they'll culminate into something more big and beautiful than you even imagined. You'll have all of these things that you love about your next partner that you didn't even know, that you didn't even think of yet. Like, what is that quote? Like, it's something about God, whether you believe in God or the universe, the law, spirit guides, doesn't matter. But it was something about, um, like, that God thinks of things that you would never think of, you know? Because he knows, or she knows, God, is, whatever. Um, but combined with that, to have, I don't have to really go and physically do anything, except for make my wishes, and then the wish card too. Like, okay, hallelujah, August, August. I could be with the perfect person for me, but it requires me to do the work, to think about what is it that I want. And so you can do this by contrast, 
think one time about the things you don't want, write down all the opposite things. Because we don't want to stay in that area of things that we don't want. I see people do this all the time. I don't want a liar. I don't want a cheater. Um, and so the universe doesn't hear don't. They hear the words liar and cheater. So what you want to do is I want someone honest. I want someone faithful. I want someone loyal. You want to think of all of these positive opposites and write those down and read your list and add to your list all the time. Okay, so that's a really important thing for you here in July, Scorpio Singles. Okay, what is working against me in the month of July? So my financial situation or my work situation, my home situation, my stability in general might not be as strong as it always is. Or maybe I don't feel as confident about it. But my luck is going to change and um, I don't really need to change anything. So like Scorpio's. Here's the frustrating thing about July. So so we're getting all these mixed messages, right? Like things don't necessarily look that great. And then it's like, but wait, there's all this awesome potential. So I would say maybe coming into July, we might be inclined to kind of start having a negative attitude and start feeling like shit. But we need to really um, think about all of the things that would bring us joy, write them down, manifest them. We've got the wish card. We've got the star card. We have all these positive things where we really don't have to do much action except for think about the positive things that we want and boom, they're there. So by the end of July, should you do that throughout the beginning of July, even though we might not always be feeling positive, that's our challenge. That's our lesson. Then we're rewarded. Okay. Now, um, what is the general outcome? No drama. Things are going to change for the better for us in our love life, Scorpio. And we might not, like, in other areas of our life, be feeling totally comfortable. But, you know, it's like things are going to change for the better here. A twist of fate. And this is fate, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card. It's all about things outside of the realm of our control, which is why we don't have to do anything. It's like fated a tr twist in fate for our own benefit, for good luck in our love lives. So yay! Now, I do want to say this is a general reading, so some of these um, things might not happen for you. The best way to get like a very super accurate and precise reading is to get a personal reading, um, whether that's with me or with somebody else who's accurate. But um, where did I want to go with that? Yeah, but so maybe for some of you, the Wheel of Fortune, it's like a twist in um, fate or destiny. That might mean that, you know, you start watch you watch this at the end of July and you're like, oh man, I just broke up with so-and-so. I'm just watching this now because I just became single. Like, you can't tell me in two days that I'm going to meet somebody great. Okay, no, maybe not. But guess what? That twist in fate was the breakup because now you're available for this awesome next dude or lady or whatever. Okay? So, love and light. See you next month. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.